you never know to lead you and where you can be used and I've already posted a story about these young ladies hello Sarah that were in abusive relationships one of them seemed sincere about it being in ending one relationship and one of them has have doubts but what I want to tell you all is allow God to allow your light to shine because in this situation today I didn't go in there to help motivate these young ladies and these young and these men that were in there I just went in there because I wanted me a waffle and uh, which I only took one bite of and I wanted two eggs and some bacon yes I wanted breakfast for dinner cuz I was hungry and all I had today was uh, a strawberry four grapes three pieces of cheeses and a bite of a sandwich that I didn't really like and a uh, half of an egg sandwich so I was hungry I was hungry hi Keisha and so in the car in the in the in the restaurant hey um in the restaurant we began talking about believing that you can have more because we were talking about we started talking about people being in, in job situations and never advancing and so I said well a lot of times people don't advance because they don't see that for themselves they don't see advancement for themselves they don't see more for themselves they believe the situation that they're in is where they are supposed to be and they don't see more in their life they don't value who they are and they don't see a future in their lives hello hey Norman and so they're dis and and how you can see that is in their decisions and I'm not saying that every time somebody offers you a job that you're supposed to take it but I'm saying you should you should be advancing in some type of way and I'm not always talking about profit I am saying you advance in in some type of skill and if you're if you're doing something there should always be a goal there should always be a bent a bottom line to it you should not just be doing you you should be proactive instead of reactive so uh, we were talking about careers and advancing and the next thing you know these young ladies began to share their testimony with me and we ended up talking about abuse and before I know it I shared I shared my testimony and I told them 80% of what happens to you you have a decision a choice in that matter you share part of the blame and that may be hard love but we do because God gave us a choice we have a decision to make and you can't control the other party but you can control your actions you can learn how to love yourself more you can learn how to respect yourself more you can change your circumstances you can change your environment but you have to believe that is possible you have to believe more than just reading the verse that says that God makes all things possible. You have to believe that poss possibilities are for you. Or else you go nowhere. And your gifts die. And your talents die. And your spirit dies and you die and everything you were meant to touch every person you were supposed to to increase never got a chance to know you to connect with you to grow
a, pr a famous president president said ask not what you can do what your country can do for you but what you can do for your country and so that came to mind when we do for ourselves what happens is when we learn to love ourselves, we learn to value ourselves. What what happens is we treat ourselves. What happens, we treat ourselves better. We love ourselves better. We don't put up with a nonsense. We disconnect with things that was never meant to be connected to us. And what happens is change happens in our families. Change happens in our communities. So when he says, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. When you learn to love yourself and show yourself love, you give yourself permission to be the person that God created you to be. Your authentic self. You owe nobody apology but God and yourself. Because what happens is you will begin to change the atmosphere around you, your country. It starts off with your household, then it leads off to your community, then it turns into your city and your state, then your country. Thank you, Renee. How are you doing today? All because you believe that all things are possible for those who love Christ. All things are possible because you've accepted who God created you to be. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than a father. You're more than a daughter. You're more than a brother. Because you began to love yourself and mend yourself, speak over your life. And these are the things that I was telling these young ladies. Because a closed door just means you need to go a different direction. And sometimes it means not now. You know, I, I got blessed with this job that I've been wanting a really, really long time. And I kept filling out applications for it and filling out applications for it. And I kept hitting a closed door until one day the door was open. That was God saying, not now. Not now because I wasn't ready for that level yet. Because there were some things that I had inside of me that had to break off. I had to learn how to have the courage to fight against depression. I'm fine. I'm glad to see you doing a great, great, I love you. my. Oh, I love you too. I'm going to have to see you next time I'm in Little Rock. I had to learn how to love me. I had to learn how to accept me. I had to learn how to pull what was flowing in my belly out. I had to learn to see myself the way God sees me. As a beautiful, as a kind, as an elegant, as a smart lady. Before I was ready for that next level. Sandra, I'm going to let y'all go, but I'll, 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 I'm just going to leave you. You never know where God is going to use you. And I believe that situation because let me tell you, I went to one Waffle House and something inside of me said, not this one. So I said, well, I don't know why I'm, I'm turning this around, but let me go because for some reason I just feel like I shouldn't be at this one. So I got back in my car and I went on down the street and I got into that one. 
and I had this interesting conversation and I believe when we talk to people we plant seeds in it in people and so I like to plant seeds of growth I like to plant seeds of promise I like to plant seeds of love because you got enough people around talking to you negative I'm not gonna be the one I'm not trying to I'm not trying to dim your light I'm trying to help your light shine bright Keisha said, be patient with everything and their, uh, and their white seeds and come for, come for the door to be unlocked. That's right. And know that the door closes and another one open. Yes. Renee said, and this is what you are and have. Yes. Amen to that. But I didn't see that. I didn't see that and I was scared because the people who know me know that when I was coming the person that you see me today I've always really been like that but you have to understand I was so scared and I felt like I was running away from my calling by being quiet but every now and then that little spark would shine out and I would say something and I would just boop I would just surprise the people and I really didn't think I was really saying much. And then I'd go back into my corner and try to hide. Anyway, y'all let be blessed. Let me get off of here. You know, I just had to share that. You are loved. You are cherished. Don't let nobody tell you different. You have the right. You have the you have the choice to to want more, to be more. God has already given you whatever you're asking God for. It's your decision to make it come to manifestation by opening up the door because God's already knocking at the door whatever you want, whatever you desire. It's already in the atmosphere. If you want it at your front door, if you want it in your house, open the door. Anyway, let me let me get off of here, y'all.